Hey guys, so I found this weird thing at Target. It's called Joyba Bubble Tea with popping boba. It's probably said it's delicious with popping boba and no artificial sweeteners. It's blueberry pomegranate black tea and it was only two cases left in Target. So basically, I have not opened it at all. I had the whole thing sitting in my refrigerator. And basically, it is boba with it's boba tea that you can just oops, I don't ripped it. That you can just pop open and drink whenever you want. So I'm excited. You know, I'm a big fan of boba. And I said, if this is like already done for me, let's see what it's all about. So we get four in the case. I forget how much it costs. I really don't remember. But I'll put a link if I find it online. And it must be popular because everybody, like, it was like only one or two left. So this looks good. And I had it nice and cold. So it says it's got 120 calories, 10 sodiums, and 26 sugars. So when it comes with its own little straw, that is so cute. The straw is kind of like embedded in there. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's cool. I want y'all to see it too. But it's my first time opening it. I don't want to rip the cup. Just want to pull a little straw out. That's so cute. Okay. Now, am I supposed to punch through the top? Or am I supposed to peel the top off? Don't say. I always see on like TV, when people buy boba from online, they like punch through it. So, I don't know. Okay, so you got the straw part right here. It's kind of small. As it unravels or unpacks. Oh, it does. Cool. Oh, look at that. Like, it clicks into place. That is so cool. So, am I supposed to, like, punch through this part? I'm supposed to go, like, open it up. I don't know. That feels tight. I don't think I'm supposed to peel it open. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust through it, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i confused, guys. Okay, I just punched through it. I think punching through is the way to go. Let's see. Let's try it. Mmm. That's a good tasting tea by itself. I haven't got any of the bubbles yet, but that tea is delicious. It's sweet, but not too sweet. That's got a, a fresh, good taste to it. I love the tea part. Wow. Got my first bubble. The skin of the poppin' boba though is really tough. Like you have to really chew it. Almost like a candy, but like not candy. It's like a really tough skin. But overall, I would I, I would recommend it. Just be careful if you're serving it to kids. Make sure you chew up the popping boba because the skin's really tough for some reason. But the flavor is really good it is a really good flavor it's popping boba not um the tapioca you know black pearl boba it's the popping one with the juice inside that bursts when you chew it um i love it i would say it's as good as if you bought it from a store very nice you can get it four packs at target whenever you want so tell me in the comments if y'all tried um joyba bubble tea before and um let me know if there's any other flavors out there and i might if i can see if i find it i pick it up but overall the, the the number one good part about this is not the boba it's the tea the tea itself is uh, it's probably one of the best teas i've had that's delicious tea whatever they did with that tea is is really good mm -hmm. The popping boba almost messes it up. The popping boba kind of messes it up because the skin is just so hard. It's like really, really, really hard skin. <laughs> like, look at how hard the skin is. It's almost got a metallic. The skin almost has a metallic plastic look to it. It's a shame because the tea is so good. And the juice inside the boba is so good. But the skin needs to be redone. It's too hard. It's really hard skin. It's not like normal popping boba. It's not, but it's still good. This is a hard one for me to review because I love the way a tea tastes, but the, the popping part of the boba is concerning. So 
<laughs> it's hard to tell. I still like it, but just keep that in mind when you buy it. So I'll talk to y'all guys later. Tell me in the comments what y'all think. Would the skin being too hard be a deal breaker for y'all? Or would you think it's kind of normal for just regular popping boba? And I'll talk to y'all guys later with hopefully more reviews. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>